Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all my dear children. So today we are going to do the poem, the ball poem. And it is written by John Berryman. Children, let me tell you about the poet first. John Berryman was an American poet and a scholar. He is best known for the Dream Songs which was published in 1969. It was a sequence of 385 poems. He won Pulitzer Prize for the Dream Songs. He also won National Book Awards as well. So we come to know that he had achieved a lot in the field of literature. Now children, before I really start the poem, let me brief you. That this poem is about losing something that you love and learning to grow up. It is about a little boy who for the first time in his young life is learning what it is like to experience grief at the loss of a much beloved possession, his ball. To us the loss of a ball is of minor consequence and our reaction to it is to say, oh, there are other balls but to a little boy this is not so a dime another ball is worthless money is external it cannot buy back our love nor replace the things that we love the things that really matters okay so let us read the poem now a boy losses a ball he is very upset a ball doesn't cost much nor is it difficult to buy another ball. Why then is the boy so upset? Read the poem to see what the poet thinks has been lost and what the boy has to learn from the experience of losing something. So children, um, we can understand from this interaction that the poet John Berryman through his poem, the ball poem, he has tried to describe the reality of life which everyone has to face one day. He has also touched the topic of how to stand up against the miseries and sorrows of life. Okay, so let us read the poem. What is the boy now? Who has lost his ball? What? What is he to do? I saw it go. Merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water. Now children meaning of merrily is cheerful, happily. Bouncing means jumping up and down. So the poet is talking about a boy who has lost his ball. He wants to know about him and his reaction because he has lost his ball. Now, we, we understand here that a ball means a lot to small children, young children, right? It is not merely a ball, but it is something like treasure for them with uh, which they play every day and uh, they love the ball very much. Their feelings are stuck with it, okay? So, now the poet has seen that the ball is falling down towards water. Now, he wants to see the reaction of the child. Further, he asked to himself that what this boy will do after losing his ball. The poet has seen the ball going away from the boy. He says that the ball was cheerfully jumping and down in the street. This means that when the ball skipped from boy's hand, it went into the street and later on it fell into the nearby river. Children, the... Literary devices, the poetic devices used here are anaphora. What is anaphora? Use of repeated words in two or more lines. So, what are the words that are used? Here it is. What is the boy? What? What? And merrily bouncing. Merrily over. So, you can see that these two first two lines start with merrily, uh, what? And then rest two lines, third and fourth lines start with merrily. So, which poetic device do we see here? It is anaphora. A-N-A-P-H-O-R-A. Anaphora. Then we can see assonance. Assonance means repeated use of vowel sound. Which vowel sound is used? O. 
why where it is re uh, repeated b o y boy n o w now who w h o who l o s t lost so we see that repeatedly o is used so assonance is existing as poetic device then imagery imagery when poet says merrily bouncing down the street so he is imagining that when the ball is going down the street when it is rolling down it is a slopy area so definitely if ball is bouncing it looks like as if a merry the boy uh, the ball is happily jumping down okay and uh, yes repetition is also there what is repeated w h a t what word is repeated okay so here we go no use to say oh there are other balls an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid trembling staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went i would not intrude on him a dime another ball is worthless now he senses first responsibility so here children words like grief are there grief means sorrow sadness then uh, rigid you have seen rigid means fixed okay rigid means fixed then uh, trembling means shaking and uh, harbor you know harbor is port dock where ships comes and go intrude means invader then dime means 10 cents very small amount then worthless means useless okay valueless so here the poet says that there is no benefit of consoling the boy by saying that he will get another ball because he has other balls too because it is you know not that expensive but you know the important thing is the feelings so he says so because the boy is feeling very sad he is completely surrounded by sorrow he is sad because all the memories of the childhood days went down the harbor with the ball so here the poet says that the boy is very sad as the ball which has now gone into the water reminds him of those sweet memories of the times when he owned it this loss is really unbearable for him and he is grief stricken okay beta so the poet says that he can't even tell the boy to take some money from him in order to buy another ball because uh, he says so because the new ball will not bring the sense of belonging to the boy further the poet says that the time has come for the boy to learn the responsibility of taking care of things so last line here tells us that he senses first responsibility that means he learns to be responsible for all his things and uh, which literary devices are used here children repetition repetition because the word ball is repeatedly used then uh, uh ascendaton a s y n d e t o n ascendaton uh, is a poetic device in which no use of conjunction in a sentence okay so which line we have seen here a dime another ball is worthless so in this line there is no use of conjunction joining word so uh, ascendaton okay now moving on to the last lines in a word of possessions people will take will take balls balls will be lost always little boy and no one buys a ball back money is external he is learning well behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss how to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most no many days how to stand up so here we come across certain words like possessions possessions means ownership external that means here actually things which feelings are not attached desperate is hopeless epistemology you know that what is epistemology it is a greek word which means knowledge so 
here the poet says that the boy has to learn that in this materialistic world many of his belongings will be lost bahut sari aisi cheeze hain jo uski gum ho jayengi he personifies the ball as his belongings be it the worldly thing or the relationships here so he says that he has to learn to live without them no matter what he says no one can buy back such things for him you know that uh, you know with uh, emotions cannot be bought from money children relationships cannot be bought so if they are lost if some beloved goes away you have to learn to live without him okay or without her the poet said so because according to him money can't buy you everything if it does buy you some materialistic thing still it will not be able to buy the sense of belongingness so children here i would like to uh, you know recollect that uh, you must have kept in the showcases of your house your old childhood uh, cars bike toys isn't it the girls must have kept teddy bears of their childhoodness why some some kids also keep their uh, you know dresses jeans or shirts or pencil boxes why do you keep all these old things because they are reminding you of the beautiful memories of your childhood so money can buy you a new box money can buy you a new watch of your but you know the same watch that you used to wear uh, when you were a child but that sense of belongingness that feeling cannot be bought from money so this means that the boy is trying to learn the sorry the poet said so because according to him money can't buy you everything now if it does buy you some materialistic thing still it will not buy uh, the feelings the sense of belongingness he says that the boy is learning how to stand up against the sense of lost things now this means that the boy is trying to learn the real truth of life which states that you have to accept the miseries of life and stand up against it okay this is the truth which everyone has to learn in his or her life the harsh truth of standing up against the odd miseries of life that everyone has to bear okay children so here uh, we see the poetic devices existing are alliteration uh, sound b b at the start of two consecutive words by is a ball back so here alliteration assonance he is learning well behind his desperate eyes so vowel sound e is very prominent here so assonance repetition ball word is repeated and there is no rhyme scheme in the whole poem so children we have seen that in this poem the boy the boy's ball personifies his young days and happy and innocent innocence in this world people will take balls just as they will take away our innocence and force us to grow up and once we lose this innocence we can never get it back the message conveyed to the little boy is that balls will be lost always but no one buys a ball back through this poem we learn how throughout our life we will be forced to do the things that we don't want to do and will lose or have to give up the things that we love but despite the, this we have to learn to stand up to be strong and get on with our life no matter how much it hurts inside children the only way one can survive is by learning to accept and letting go so that's all for the explanation my dear children if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and uh, very soon i'll be providing you with the uh, textual exercise and question and answers till then take care of your health have a great day ahead